Hey, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and today we're going to go over how to create an LLC in California using California's new online filing system. So an LLC or limited liability company is a kind of business entity that you can create in every state in the United States. And in California, like in many states, if not every state by now, there's an online filing system. This online filing system to create the LLC changed in April of 2022. And so while I have done tutorials like this before, it needs to be re-recorded because the system is now different. So let's get into how you would create your LLC in California. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to the Biz File Online website. So if you go to the actual Secretary of State's website, you click on Business, then you can click on Biz File Online. But I'll put a direct link in the description and in the comments. So when you go on here, it's gonna tell you that the first thing you need to do is to create a login. So you click on Login. I, of course, have a login already, but you'll just click on don't have an account, sign up. You just need to put in your email, a password, first and last name, and then you have a login. It's not really a big deal. So now you're in BizFile online and you're actually logged in. You're going to go to forms to create your LLC. So first thing is name reservations. You do not have to reserve a name before you create an LLC or corporation. This is if you're not gonna create the LLC or corporation right now and you wanna do it way ahead of time and make sure that the name's gonna go through. This can also be if you're trying to create a LLC or corporation with a name that you don't know if it's gonna comply with the rules and you want them to approve it. The limited liability company initial filings is articles of organization. Articles of organization with statement of conversion, that's if you're converting your LLC from being in another state, you're changing where it's domesticated. And then a registration of an out of state LLC. So today we're doing the articles of organization. So there's going to be online processing fee of $70. Let's click on the filing online. So first, all the filings and contents are available to the public. So everything that you put in this filing, your address, all that stuff is available to the public. So this is just letting you know that it's going to be in a database and people are going to download it and send you spam. I mean, that's what happens. And it also gives you information about how you can't use this for fraud, et cetera, et cetera. You should, everyone should read this. And I've gone through this multiple times already. And I read that. Okay. So the submitter information, this is something that's optional, but I recommend you put this in here with your name and your email and your phone number, because if something goes wrong, they theoretically could contact you. I've literally never had the state call me on the phone, but this new system, they might email you. I don't know yet because it literally started last week, but under the old system, they would send you a letter and that just sucks because it took forever. Typically you could call them though. So under this new system, they might send you an email if something messes up. So I'm going to put in my name and email and phone number. All right. So this is just giving you a notification that you cannot use an LLC for professional services. Professional services are typically things like you're a lawyer, you're a doctor, you're a therapist. You've taken some tests to be licensed to practice your profession in your state. And typically, you usually need to have a professional LLC or a professional corporation if you're licensed as a professional. In California, they don't have a professional LLC, it's just professional corporations. I'll do a video in the future on what is a professional corporation and who needs to do that and how do you do that because it's much more detailed than we need to go into now. So let's assume you're not a professional corporation. Let's say you're doing consulting for the sake of the argument. And there's no previously reserved name. So now you need to put in the LLC company name. I'm going to make up a name, Potts Weinstein Consulting LLC. Potts Weinstein Consulting LLC. This is my fictional LLC name. It's probably searching it to make sure it's not taken. And then the address. This is my business address for my law firm. And then we're gonna copy the same address, which is so convenient that they let you do that. You can also put in a attention if you there are multiple people who could get mail at that address and you want it to come to you. Let's go to the next step. Who is gonna be the agent for service of process? So every LLC or corporation in California and in most other states, not all, needs to have a registered agent who is a person or an entity that's not the LLC or corporation itself, who can accept 
legal documents on behalf of the LLC or corporation. And the idea is someone's there like in person to get served with documents. This almost never happens, but it can happen so that it has to be on file. So it could be you, the human person who owns the business, and you could also instead hire a service like Northwest Registered Agent Services, which is who I refer a lot of people to, and you pay them and then they're the ones who handle that for you. And they tip, people typically charge $100 to $300 a year for that. And you can definitely go on the low end. <laughs> you do not need to pay the big buck for it. In this case, I'm gonna say that I'm the registered agent. So I'm gonna put in my name. I'm gonna copy over the address. There you go. Now, the management structure. Okay, so you have three options for the management structure. The LLC will be managed by one manager, by more than one manager, or by all LLC members. So here's kind of the difference. The idea is all LLC members means everybody who owns the business can run the business, make decisions about the business. If it's just one person, that's probably fine, right? And if it's two of you, that might be fine too. But let's say there's five or 10 or 20 people who own this LLC, or maybe there's one person who owns it and then the other person is more of a passive investor. They're not there running it on a day-to-day -day basis. Or maybe one person owns it and there's another person who does work in the business, but they only own 5% of the shares, 5% of the ownership. So a manager is anybody, doesn't have to be one of the owners, who runs the business on a day-to-day -day basis. This can also work if the owner of the LLC isn't a human, the owner is another corporation, if it's a your revocable living trust, if it's some other kind of entity that's not a human person so it can't run the thing, then the manager is the human person who actually runs it. You can hire someone else to do it or it can just be you. And obviously it can be one manager or more than one. So I'm just gonna say all LLC members in this case because it's just me doing this fictional consulting business. And the filing date. So most of the time you're gonna do the current date today when you're filing this. And when it when they review it, it might not get reviewed for days in the future, but it gets backdated to today. Future filing date typically is, let's say you're filing this in December. You don't want it be, to be effective till January 1st. And the reason is, is that you have to pay an $800 uh, minimum franchise fee every year. The first year is free. So you don't want your free year to be the last two weeks of December. You want your free year to be a full calendar year to the extent possible. So you can file this in December and have it be effective as of January 1st. But let's just say we're gonna do current filing date because it's April, so I'm not gonna have it be effective way out in the future. And you can do attachments. I never do this. <laughs> so this is probably something you're not gonna need to do either. Now you're going to review it. So you scroll up, when it gets to this page, you scroll up and make sure all the information is correct. You didn't have a typo or anything. Everything can be fixed, but you just pay more money and it's more filings to fix things. And then we're gonna have one signature. The organizer is the human person who's doing this. So I'm the organizer for my clients, even though I don't own any shares in their corporation or LLC. And I'm actually not sure if you have to put a little slash to do the e-signature, but I'm gonna put that there just in case you do. Because they didn't actually say, um, it just says, by signing, I affirm under penalty of perjury, this information herein is true and correct. So you're signing this under penalty of perjury, so don't lie. Now the processing fee, I'm obviously not gonna fill this out. The processing fee is $70, and then you can get a certified copy for five more dollars. I highly recommend you get the certified copy because you might need that for the bank or some other purpose. So just go ahead and get it now so you don't have to order it later. There, it just reminded you about the $800 minimum franchise fee, which you don't have to pay the first year, but then after that you have to pay it, first calendar year. Everything has to be paid by Visa or MasterCard. They don't take American Express or Discover, which I find really annoying. I literally had to go get a Visa MasterCard just to do filings in California because I use American Express for everything else. Then what service option do you want? So you normally can do the standard service, Typically they take three to five business days to process it, but sometimes it takes two or three weeks because they everybody's filing filings right around the beginning of the year, times like that, it'll get backed up. But there's two other services that you can pay a whole lot of money for to get them to do it faster. One is 24 hour expedited service and the other is $750 same day service. Now the thing with same day service is, you have to file it before 9.30 a.m. to get it back same day, okay? So it's not, 
same day, like, they're going to do it in an hour. It's same day, like, if you get it in, like, right now, I'm recording this at 9, 12 in the morning, so I can file it right now, pay these $750, and then get it in by 4 p.m. There may be times where you really need to do this, but most of the time, I don't think that that would make any sense. So I would click the standard. I'm going to do certified copy and standard, and I go to the next step. And then I hit filing online. It's going to submit it, and it's going to have me put in my Visa or MasterCard to pay for it. Now, if you need to file writing, by writing a check, if you don't have a credit card and you can't get a credit card, then you would need to file by mail, and then you can send them a check. It's going to be the exact same information. It's just going to be on a PDF that you fill out. It will take much longer to process because a human person has to read your thing and type that into the computer themselves. But it's the only way that I know of to use a check. This is not the only thing you need to do to set up your LLC. After this, you're gonna get your EIN, you're gonna file a statement of information. I've done videos on both of those things. And then for your LLC, you're gonna do other things like creating an operating agreement and various other documents, getting a bank account, all that kind of stuff. And I've done some videos going in through all the various things you need to do to set up your LLC fully. But using the new system, this is how it's gonna look. Now let's say you aren't ready to file it yet. You wanna save the draft. If you go into your work queue as some as your new articles of incorporation that are at a draft. And I actually already recorded a video on the statements of information. And so that's why that draft is sitting there. So you can always come back to it, save it as a draft, come back to it later and finish your filing. Again, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you have any questions about what we've covered in this video, feel free to ask them below in the comments and I'll try to point you in the right direction. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this and you can sign up for the new Patreon if you want to help support the channel so I can make more videos like this and get even more stuff from me. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.